Right, welcome to the video. I got a neck brace, I can't run. Let me take this off the film. I can't run for, I'm not sure if I'll be able to run again. I've got a spinal injury that I sustained in January 2020 when I was attacked from behind. Um, I've trained much the last three years because of that. My advice is the best out there when it comes to nutrition for runners because all about weight loss. It's all about weight loss. Okay, let's be, let's be honest. Like if you're at the start line of the marathon and you're trying to PR and you're carrying extra 100 grams, you're carrying too much extra weight. If you're at the start of the marathon, you're carrying extra 10 grams, you're carrying too much extra weight. Why carry more than you need, okay? Let me help you lose the weight so you turn up a marathon day the leanest. You turn up so lean as a guy, your wife or girlfriend may question your relationship, your attraction to, to you, because you're just looking like you just got discovered from Castaway or whatever. Um, lean, all right, the world's fastest runners, okay, are incredibly lean. They don't go to nightclubs picking up women, unless women know who they are, okay, with the money and fame these elite runners can have. But you gotta be lean, man. You gotta be lean, lean on lean, okay? How do you get there? More training? No, 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 no. If you're training for weight loss, you're just degenerating your joints, your cartilages, your spinal discs, etc. okay? You only wanna train as much as you need to. Junk miles damage your metabolism, okay? They damage your metabolism, they damage your hormones. Why? train harder when you can just train smarter, okay? Simple as that. Why do junk miles to get lean when you can get lean by sitting on your ass on the sofa, stuffing your face with the foods I recommend in my eBooks and my coaching group, doingride.com, okay? It's on the hat, always in the hat. Why? You know, like, <laughs> I love running. Don't get me wrong, I love riding. Like, you know, I love moving. And I've done some epic Ks on the bike. You know, I know what it feels like, um, just for a month challenge, etc. But I don't like feeling tired and fatigued. I love feeling fit and strong and vital, okay? And I love being lean, right? I love it, I just love feeling lean. I love never ever having to worry about having a fat gut or a fat face or fat legs or whatever. Just, and that doesn't mean that I'm better than anyone else like that. Wouldn't, doesn't matter doesn't mean if I was fat, it would make me a bad person, or if you're a bad person, if you're fat, no, no, no. I just prefer the feeling of this. I prefer having maximized insulin sensitivity. So you want to turn up to race day a marathon as lean as you can be, but still carry the speed to run the impressive times, okay? Because why put all that work in and turn up a race day and run a time slower than you could have ran? just because you didn't train properly, just because you didn't do my protocols. I've trained with elite runners, Kenyans, Ethiopians, and Ugandans, okay? Some natty, some not. I've learnt most of my stuff from them. I've learnt most of my stuff from some of the top coaching runners, running coaches out there. Salazar, Percy Sarati, you know, blah, 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 pretty much all of them, all right? In person, on email, and or reading some of their books and or some of their personal friends, runners of coaches, etc. I've been interested in running performance since 1986 when I would turn up on sports day and get absolutely flogged. I've always been looking for ways to become faster. Even though I'm not much of a fast runner, I'm fast for what I've, I've been. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, as much as I love running, I don't put the work in, I hardly train. Right? You don't need to train much to run a, a mid 16 5k. You don't need to train much to break a three hour marathon. It's pretty freaking easy, like anyone can do it, okay? If you're under the age of 60, you can run a 16.30 5k on the track. If you're under the age 50 or even 60, you can run a sub three hour marathon. It's not very hard, okay? A lot of people just carry excess weight and it weighs them down. So, uh, but weight loss, man. If you want the weight loss tips, go to rob.com. Okay, just, just, just why waste another day carrying another 100 grams more than you have to? So you got 20 kilos you wanna lose? 
you probably got 25 you could lose. Let me help you do that. If you think you could lose 20 kilos, you even probably lose 30 kilos. Let me help you do that. Uh, shoes I recommend for the marathon PR, nothing comes close. If you're over 60 kilos, Nike Air Alpha Fly, okay? Best shoe out there if you're over 60 kilos. If you're under 60 kilos, Nike Zoom Vaporfly. Uh, those two shoes, Boston Atlas, Boston 11s, yeah, worthy mention, but not, not coming close to the Nikes really in terms of, if, you try, if you're trying to save every second, if you want to do your PR, Okay, you can have your Sacconi Endorphins and the Brooks, whatever's, and the Asics Meta Races. Or what. Yeah, you can, yeah they're, they're cool. They're better than they used to be. But just get the Nike Alpha Flies, okay? If you're over 60 kilos, just, just, just <laughs> one less time with the select shoes that are good, but not the best. You know, and I'm not sponsored by Nike. Most Nikes are junk. These shoes got me back into using Nikes. Um, I tried a pair of Pegasus, Pegasus on the other day. And I was, yep, still junk. <laughs> The Pegasus in year 2000 are bigger, better than the Pegasus today. It's crazy. But the Alpha Flies and the Vapor Flies are incredible. Well, what else can we say there? Hemoglobin, you've got to look after your hemoglobin. All right. If you, you can't burn fat at a high rate if your hemoglobin is low. Okay. Literally, if you've got a twin brother and they work with me, or a twin sister and they work with me, I'm gonna, they're going to be way leaner than you, eating more food, doing less training just because we manipulate the hemoglobin. Fact, okay, fact. So why would you waste time with any other running coach out there? You, I, I talk with elite runners, all right, and elite cyclists, some professionals out there, and I say, what's your hemoglobin? They're like, I don't know. And I'm like, you're, you're a pro runner, or you wanna be a pro runner cyclist, and you don't know what your hemoglobin is. <laughs> That's like turning up on race day and not knowing how much your bike weighs. How much your bike weigh? I don't know. Eight kilos, seven kilos. So you're gonna turn up to race day with a bike that weighs more than 6.8 kilos and give away that extra weight to competition. Just, here you go. Here's, here's a, I'll carry you. Why don't you just carry everyone's phones that day? Hey guys, you got a phone? I'll put them back in my jersey. I'll carry your phone. I'll carry your water bottle for you, competition. Uh, the, the goal is to win or to help your teammate. I mean, why would you hold yourself and it baffles me, it baffles me, it baffles me, you know. That's one reason Tadej Pogacar is so good because he really focuses on performance above all. And yeah, he rides disc brakes now, but there's not much option in the, in the pro peloton there, more to at that level. But um, see, that's the deal. I'm baffled that these people out there who don't know what the hemoglobin is. It's like you're trying to let, get lean, all right? You're trying to get lean and you don't know what your hemoglobin is. Well, your hemoglobin is your main thing that helps you get lean because fat, burns in the flame of carbohydrate and fat burns in the flame of oxygen. It takes three kilos of oxygen to burn one kilo of fat. So it's just, you know, it's just, I, I, I talk with doctors, I talk with lawyers, surgeons who run marathons because they're weight loss focused. And these people are academic as, but they don't even know much about hemoglobin. <laughs> so what the fuck? Even the doctors, man. The doctors don't even know what the hemoglobin is. I don't know. I just want to run to get lean. It's like, it's just, Oh, I, can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like trying to lose weight and not know what your hemoglobin is and not know how many grams of fat a day you're eating, it's just baffling. Like go, go, doing all the training and then come home and have a fatty meal. So you go, you go and burn 104 grams of fat in your workout. You do one of my workouts, you burn you know, 387 grams of fat and then you come home and you, you're going to eat 100 or 200 grams of that fat back with dietary fat, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know? You're gonna wear your joints out prematurely to burn fat and then come home and eat more fat. Now you understand why a lot of people unsubscribe when I tell them the truth like that. Because no one's gonna tell them like that. People want their feelings protected, okay? If you want the very, very best running performance coaching, weight loss coaching, drewnard.com, get my eBooks, well, ideally sign up so we can walk you step by step through the process and so you always got me in your court, you know? Okay, how are you doing the, and doing the, Amsterdam, the Amsterdam Marathon or Rotterdam Marathon? What should I do, you know? Give me some course intel. Or I've got this competition, bike race, and we can, what should I, blah, 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 blah. How do I get my hemoglobin up without using EPO? Things like that, you know? It's not just running or cycling, we do, we do all life things. Anyway, that's the wrap up. Quick video, how to get lean for your marathon PR. Do my protocols, all right? 
And the free tip, the free tip, Nike Alpha Fly, if you're over 60 kilos. You can run in other shoes if you want, but you just be giving away time, okay? Why put all the work in just to give, like, why not just stand the start line and just be like, hey guys, I'll give you a five minute head start. Oh, it's, a, it's a nice day today, you know? It's a nice day, but get fucking running, all right? You can appreciate the nice day while you run the marathon. I just, it baffles me. People travel, put all this away from the family, everything, and just do a shit time compared to what they could have done if they just did my protocols. Baffles me. Baffles me.